Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you an interactive walkthrough of the Ripley's Aquarium Toronto so that you can enjoy a visit to the aquarium while sitting at home. Please watch the video till the end because I'm going to share a lot more information about different galleries you'll see at the aquarium. So let's jump right into it and start with this video. As you enter through the guest service, on the left you'll see a map of the waters of the world and different galleries that you're going to visit in the aquarium like Canadian Waters, Rainbow Reef, Ranges Lagoon, Planet Jellies, Ray Bay, etc. But don't worry, the aquarium tour is well laid out so you won't be lost along the way. Just before entering Canadian Waters Gallery, you'll see a big tank of a huge group of fish called as alley vibes which often swim in large groups to confuse the predators by presenting them with so many targets. Predators may view this huge group of fish as a single giant animal which is too large to attack. Next is Canadian Waters Gallery. As we all know, Canadian waters are known for extraordinary habitat for various animals and plants. So in this gallery you'll experience 17 different exhibits and see fish species like sturgeon, paddlefish, cod and also you'll see a giant pacific octopus. Ocean layers picture shows a depth of different layers of ocean and various sea creatures living at those depths. And some of them lurk as close to 8000 meter deep where it's all dark because of the absence of sunlight. As you'll move down the gallery, you'll see a very interesting creature, which is giant Pacific octopus, lying silently in a dark water tank with a sharp eyesight. These creatures can weigh up to 15 kgs and are well adapted hunters who can change color and texture in a fraction of a second. Don't forget to stand over here for a second and admire the beauty of this creature. Stunning Pacific Kelp, which is part of Canadian Waters Gallery, is almost 360,000 liters of water. The kelp is not actually a plant and doesn't have roots, but instead it obtains all of its minerals and nutrients directly from the water and can measure up to 45 meters long. In Canada, kelp forests can be found off all three coasts in Atlantic, Arctic and Pacific Oceans and are home to thousands of species of fish and algae. Alaskan king crab are omnivores and can be found scavenging on dead plants or animals at the bottom of the ocean. Rainbow Reef is indeed one of the most fascinating galleries at the aquarium. It consists of corals and other fish species. Coral reefs are also called as rainforests of the sea and provides habitat and shelter for many marine organisms. Rainbow Reef is also home to over 100 different colorful fish species which makes it the most biodiverse exhibit at the aquarium. 
It contains fish species like batfish, sailfin tang, Picasso triggerfish, unicorn surgeonfish, and many other fish species. So don't forget to read more about these fish on the screen. Those are close to the rainbow reef. I believe all the visitors to the aquarium don't want to miss this gallery which is Tangerous Lagoon. Tangerous Lagoon Gallery is the aquarium's largest gallery and you can hop on to a slow moving conveyor belt pathway to experience it. While coming really close to some of the most jaw dropping dangerous species including sand tiger sharks, stingrays and green sawfish. You'll also find green sea turtle and other fish species taking a swim besides and above you as you move along the underwater viewing tunnel. Trinch's Lagoon has approximately 2.9 million liters of water and is North America's longest underwater wing tunnel, which is an interesting fact. Shark Reef Kids Crawl section offers a fun activities for both kids and adults. They can crawl through a glass underwater tunnel to come out on the other side, which is a very fun activity to do. In the Discovery sections, Great Lakes Lock exhibit, kids can participate and learn how the Great Lakes locks work in a fun way using a touch pool and interactive tanks. There is also a simulated submarine and aquatic themed playground for the kids. You can also enjoy a bite at Ripley's Cafe if you are feeling hungry after visiting so many exhibits.
The living reefs feature an underwater ecosystem formed of colonies of living coral polyps held together by their hard skeletons. Corals are colonies of tiny individual animals living together as one. They provide a home for at least 25% of all marine species including fish and other creatures. Seahorse is a species of small marine fish living among seagrass beds and coral reefs. They often use their tail to anchor themselves with seagrass stems and coral heads. Next gallery is Shipwrecks Gallery, which is a new at aquarium and is very fascinating indeed. Here you can learn more about Canada's most mysterious and controversial naval disaster, Adam and Fitzgerald, which was lost with her entire crew of 29 men in a fierce winter storm on Lake Superior, November 10, 1975, just 27 km north-northwest of Whitefish Point, Michigan. With no witnesses or survivors, its exact cause of sinking remains unknown. Another shipwreck is about the doomed Franklin expedition, as part of which two naval bomber ships named HMS Erebus and HMS Terror sailed out of River Thames, England on May 19, 1845, carrying 128 officers and men under the command of Sir John Franklin, with a mission to find and transit through the Northwest Passage, which is a westward route from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean passing through Canadian Islands and lies in the Arctic Circle. Both Erebus and Terror were last spotted in Baffins Bay on 26 July 1945 by two whaling ships and after that they disappeared, never to be seen again. It is believed that ships got trapped for 18 months in thick ice off King Williams Island. The survivors abandoned the ships and walked out on ice by foot in search for food and safety. All men died because of combination of factors like frigid cold temperatures and lack of food. It is believed that many of them turned to cannibalism in an attempt to stay alive. Finally, after 170 years, in an expedition led by Parks Canada, the wreck of HMS Erebus was found in 2014 lying 11 meters below sea level and HMS Terror was located 24 meters below sea level in 2016. In the shipwreck section, you can also read about Loch Ness Monster, a sea creature that is said to inhabit a freshwater lake in the Scottish Highlands. It is often described as a large, long-necked creature with one or more humps protruding from the water. Also learn more about the history of the Fiji mermaid and the mermaids in general. Kraken is a legendary sea monster described as a giant octopus that had a reputation of pulling down ships by wrapping its arms around the ship and said to appear off the coasts of Greenland and Norway. In the Ray Bay section, discover the world of different species of stingrays in Ray Bay Gallery, which is one of the largest exhibits with over 350,000 liters of water. It features different species of stingrays like spotted eagle rays, cow nose rays, southern stingray, rough tail ray, oscillate river stingray, and one species of shark, bonnet head shark. The large observation window at this gallery offers a perfect opportunity to see the rays really up close and them moving with an incredible grace by using their flattened bodies and large pectoral fins like wings to fly through the water. Be sure to spend some time here and admire these incredible sea creatures.
Everybody at the aquarium loves to see the planet jellies, which is another big attraction in the aquarium which showcases different species of jellyfish like Pacific sea nettle, moon jellies and upside down jellies. Pacific sea nettle jellies which are shown on screen are eyeless and brainless creatures with 95% of their body as water. They depend upon light sensing organs for food. All jellies are kept here in a special design tanks which eliminates elements like corners and bubbles which could compromise the life of a jellyfish. Jellyfish look like umbrellas and can be bigger than a human being but they are poor swimmers. Life support system is the magic that keeps running the complex aquatic environment in the aquarium by utilizing significant amount of pumping and water filtration equipment. Also water quality and temperature is maintained here for different galleries. Here 68,000 liters of water is pumped by 10 water pumps per minute and is delivered to all of the larger exhibits. Ozone gas is used to kill the microscopic bacteria and about 95% of all the water used here is recycled. The shoreline gallery is the last gallery at the aquarium. Here guests can closely observe and interact with stingrays and is located at the top of the ray bay. On your way out, you'll pass through the aquarium gift shop where you can stop to take a look at different souvenirs to buy. <laughs> Thanks again for watching the video. If you like the video, please like comment and share. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to encourage me to make more videos like this and also to support my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.